Western Australian school principals, particularly government school principals, have a tightrope to walk over the next few years. Um, and it's a tightrope across a gap between an ambition that has been espoused by the Western Australian government and specifically through your new behaviour and wellbeing documentations, policies and procedures um, around every Western Australian school becoming a restorative school um, and your capacity, your current capacity, your current resourcing level to be able to walk that tightrope, um, the current will of potentially of your staff members to, walk, to begin that dangerous, treacherous walk. Uh, because some of them perhaps haven't had the most positive experience with working restoratively in the past. And uh, if you were to start trying to close that gap across the, across the tightrope without having addressed the needs that you have around resourcing, around capacity, around will, um, then my content is that you're doing it without a safety net. Uh, and it's some, a journey that you do want to take safely because it is one that is fraught and when we're asking people to change their practice, we are going to have some pitfalls and some potholes that we want to sidestep. Um, but it's a journey worth making because as we've been doing for many, many years now, uh, we've been helping schools implement this restorative work of their own will, not because of a policy compliance um, imperative. And we've been finding that they're able to you know, live out a moral imperative. And that's something that for school leaders, I think they're looking for these days is to be able to bring back the, uh, I, I guess, some of that heart and some of that purpose about what a contemporary Australian school should be. We've been doing that through a model called RP 2.0. It's an upgrading of this restorative intention to be more proactive and to be, I guess, in a lot of ways, we believe more respectful of uh, both the busyness and the business of a modern Australian school. The other reason that you need a safety net here is that you're going to need to comply with those policies as a, as a principal. And if you don't, then you're going to be left with far, a far more difficult task on your hand and you're going to find that other schools are going to be racing ahead of you. Um, what I've done around that is write a white paper specifically for Western Australian school principals. Um, it ties directly to the new policy imperatives that are in place for you and what you need to comply with. And what I'm going to do about that white paper is unpack it in a webinar that's completely free. And I hope that you'll take advantage of the links that are somewhere around this video to register. I've come along to the webinar. I think you'll find it enjoyable. I think you'll find it thought provoking. I think you'll find it practical, but also strategic and tactical. And after an hour, I think you'll have an idea of what your starting point needs to be to do the treacherous tight roping. Um, and I really hope that I can see as many of you there as possible. There are some fabulous WA schools who are already on the other side here. Um, there are lessons to learn from them, and they present an enormous opportunity to the rest of the WA government schools. Hope to see you there.